My name is Molly Van Dams. I'm an occupational therapist. And today I'm going to show you how to make a really simple space bar switch using some cardboard, some tape, and a ruler. This switch is for learners with limited arm movement who would like to be able to access simple games or turn the pages of to read stories on a computer, but they can't press the space bar. So with this switch, they can use whatever movement is available, whether it's lifting an arm to the side or pressing a hand forward to access those online activities. So for this project, we're going to need a strip of cardboard about four inches wide by about two feet long. I just cut mine from a cardboard box, so it was two sides of the box. We need a keyboard, we need some tape, and a ruler. So the first thing you're going to do is make a fold about 5 inches from this end. And then we're going to make a fold about 7 inches from your first fold. So yes, that gives us this triangle shape. You're going to slip the long base of the triangle under the keyboard and then you're going to tape this edge of the triangle onto your space bar. Okay, we can use masking tape to reinforce this top corner. And then you can label your switch however you think will benefit your learner. Uh, at my school we like to use a green background with a large arrow to indicate go. So I'm going to tape this go symbol to the face of my switch. Alright, and now your learner is ready to press go whenever they want to interact with a website that uses a spacebar input to turn the page or play a game. If you found this helpful and you'd like to learn more about ways to support learners with complex needs at home, uh, please check out the one hour webinar I'm presenting with my colleague Katie Mackey on March 15th on Telehealth Share. Uh, it is approved by AOTA for 0.1 CEU um, and it will be on demand after March 15th as well as live from 7 to 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time on March 15th. I hope you'll join us.